Hello, my brothers and sisters. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing to praise Him, to seek Him, to glorify Him, and to always, always put Him first place in your life each and every day. No matter what the situation looks like, no matter what the circumstance looks like, you need to give Him the thanks. You need to give Him the praise. You need to give Him the glory. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you're not doing anything right now, I know it's Thanksgiving and everything, y'all, but today should be a thankful day. Not because it's Thanksgiving. Today should be a thankful, a thankful day because look what he has done for every last one of us. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't even be here right now today if it wasn't for Jesus. Let's take the holiday out of the whole picture. Let's remove the holiday period. And it's always a day of Thanksgiving to be thankful for. You should be thankful. How he provide for every last one of us. You should be thankful for the love that he give every last one of us. You should be thankful for who he is. That's why I praise and magnify and glorify Jesus. It's always necessary. Always give him the praise. Always give him the glory. Because we serve an awesome and amazing and a faithful God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And today's text is coming from Proverbs 16, and we're going to be reading verse 21. It's Proverbs 16, and we're reading verse 21. And today's message and lesson is today, stop playing. It's time to get serious. And right now, some of y'all are still playing. Some of y'all are not serious but in your life. You're not serious in your, your marriage. You're not serious with God. You're not serious with your finance. You're not even serious with yourself. It's time for y'all to stop playing. Y'all guys and young ladies, y'all should be grown adults. Y'all should know right from wrong. You should know right now is the day it's time for y'all to make a decision about yourself. Stop playing. And it's time to get serious. Amen? Amen. Before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God. All the thanks, all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done, everything that you're doing in my life right now, and also your children's life. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh God. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing. I just can't thank you enough how you're still providing. I just can't thank you enough how you still watch over us with your righteous right hand. I just can't thank you enough how you still listen, how you still care for us. And we know through our imperfection, you still love us and you still treat us the same. I just can't thank you enough to how you carry every last one of our sins on your back. How you carry that big heavy cross for every last one of us. That you died for every last one of us. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, for what you do and what you've done, how you prepare a table for every last one of us. I just can't thank you enough for the gift that you endow in every last one of our children. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I'm always going to seek you, praise you, and glorify you, and magnify your holy name. Because I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Proverbs 16, and we're going to read verse 21. That's Proverbs 16, and we're going to be reading verse 21. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, Amen. Amen. Let's begin. The wise in heart are called discerning, and pleasant words promote instruction. We're going to just focus on this one word. He said, the wise in heart are called discerning. What is discerning? Discerning is when you know right from wrong. When you know what decision that you got to make. And look what Solomon is saying. He said, the wise in the heart are called discerning. And based what Solomon is saying right here in, in, this, in this text right here, if you wise, you know right from wrong. You know you ain't got time to be playing games. But right now, my brothers and sisters, if some of y'all, y'all are not wise right now. Some of y'all still playing games. And it's time for y'all to get serious with yourself. 
Some of y'all still playing like you're in pre-K, like you at the merry-go-round right now. Some of y'all still playing like acting like y'all little children, knowing you're supposed to be a grown-up though. You should know right from wrong. You should know what kind of decision that you need to make. But some of y'all are still making the wrong decision over and over and over again. And you wonder why your life is going around in the merry-go-round. You wonder why things not happening the way it's supposed to be happening. You wonder why you're not getting blessed. You wonder why things not going where you need to go, why you're not receiving anything. Because you are not wise right now. But it's time for y'all to grow up right now. It's time for y'all to stop playing. It's time for y'all to get serious. It's time for y'all to be wise and hard. So Jesus can call you up so you can be called discerning. Everybody's not discerning. Everybody don't make the right decision. Everybody don't make the right moves. But why? But you want to call yourself a grown man. But you want to call yourself a grown woman. You can't call yourself a grown man or a grown woman if you're not making the right decision. If you're not wise in the heart. You can't be. I'm not talking about you. I'm just preaching about you. I'm going with the word of God is saying. The word of God said the wise in the heart are called discerning. And the reason why they're wise in the heart because they make the right decision. They're not playing no more. They're taking life seriously. They're taking their self seriously. They're taking their job seriously. They're taking Jesus seriously. Seriously. They take their relationship seriously. They taking their marriage seriously. But if you're not taking yourself seriously, how can you take Jesus seriously? If you're not taking your life seriously, how can you take a job seriously? If you're not making the right decision, how can you how Jesus can bless you with finances and overflow? He can't. And he will not do that. I just being honest with you, my brothers, my sisters. Jesus will not bless you with overflow if you're not wise in the heart. If you don't want to make the right decision. But some of y'all, y'all not making the right decision. Some of y'all know y'all can't afford that car. But you want to keep up with the Jones and you want to keep up with the look. Right now is for y'all to make the right decision right now. You got to see, you know what? I got to be wacky right now. I'm going broke just to keep this car. And I have other bills. Do yourself a favor. Turn the car back in. Get something a little lower. That you know that you can afford. You ain't got to keep up with the Jones. Don't the car take you from A to B. And it take you back from work. And back home. They take you to the grocery store. And pick your kids up. And if you got a vehicle to get you. And take you place where you need to go. That's all that matters. That's when you come wise. And the same thing about a place. If you know you can't afford that house. If you know you can't afford the apartment. Why move in something that you know you can't afford in? You're not making the right decision. You're making the wrong decision. You don't know right from wrong right now. You are not wise right now. If you know you can't afford, you need to downgrade, you need to downsize, and you need to save your money. You need to start playing. It's time for you to get, time for you to get, take life seriously right now. Life is not a joke. Your finance is not a joke. Your health is not a joke. Jesus is not a joke. Your relationship is not a joke. Your marriage is not a joke. It's time for y'all to stop playing and it's time for y'all to get seriously. If you know the other person is a better parent than you, if you know you don't have the, the stability to raise your children, let the other parent get it. Y'all just co-parent. Quit, quit at each other's throat, taking each other down to child support. It don't make no sense. Stop playing. Stop playing. When you have a, when you wise and you have a discerning heart, you know right from wrong. You know what choice that you're going to make. You're going to say, you know what? I know that's wrong to do right there, so I know I ain't going that way. I know what I want out of life. I know I got to continue to, to put my faith and trust in Jesus. That's when you know that you start becoming wise. When you come wise, that's when you really become a man. That's when you really become a woman. But right now, everybody's not a grown man or a grown woman right now because you're still making the wrong choice. You're still making the wrong moves. You're still acting like you're five years old. You're still acting like you're at the, um, you're at the pre-K or you're at the, you're at the um, playground playing with your little friends. Stop playing. It's time to get serious. That's why, I mean, I know marriage is a hard thing. Don't get me wrong. Marriage ain't gonna always be easy. But if you stop playing with your marriage and start treating your wife like she needs to be treated, and wife, you need to start treating your husband like the way you need to be treated, everything will be okay. Stop playing. It's time to get that marriage seriously. Stop playing your finances. If you know you want that house, and if you know you want that car, 
If you know you don't have the money for it right now, you need to start playing, start making wise decisions. You need to get a better paying job, or you need to get a part-time job, or you need to cut back on some of the expenses that what you're spending extra money on. That's how you come wise in the heart. That's how you know you're making the right decision. You got to say, you know what? No matter what my family think, no matter what somebody else think, if Jesus brought me and my wife together or your husband and wife together, no matter, no matter what nobody else think, no, Jesus brought y'all together. And y'all the one, you're making the right move. That's all that matters. You don't need everybody's opinion to sit there and say, is it okay to do this? Long Jesus give you the opinion and he give you the okay, that's making the right move. That's when you come wise in the heart. Some of y'all depending on somebody else to give you the opinion or to give you the okay. That's when you're still making the wrong decisions right there. You're not wise in the heart. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I'm talking to somebody right now today. Somebody y'all need to quit playing. It's time for y'all to take life seriously. And I'm going to tell you how. I was just, I was just like y'all one, at one point in time. About 10 years ago, if you would have ever asked me would I, be, would I be considered as a minister, I would have said no. Because why? I wasn't wise in the heart at that time. I was making wrong decisions. I was making wrong decisions all the time in my finances, in my relationship, at work. But the most part I was making the wrong decision is my walk with Jesus. I was making wrong decisions. Only time I was going to do them, if I may need, if I want something, then soon they give it to me, I walk away. So I would dislike y'all. So that's how I know that some of y'all need to stop playing right now. It's time for y'all to get serious. But when Jesus... When he removed me from my situation, he brought me down here to Georgia. That's when I stopped playing. That's when I became a man at 33. That's when I started taking my life seriously. I started taking him seriously first. Once I started taking him seriously, then everything got stopped falling the line. So I taking myself seriously. I started taking my job seriously. I started taking my relationship seriously. I started taking my wife seriously. That's how I came wise in the heart. That's when I knew the right and wrong. But it took me a while to learn that. I know sometimes it might take some of y'all a long time to figure it out. But right now, it's time for y'all to stop playing with yourself. It's time for y'all to get serious in your life. It's time for y'all to get serious with your walk and trust with Jesus. It's time for y'all to get serious in your finances. It's time for y'all to get serious in your job. It's time for y'all to get serious in your marriage. It's time for y'all to get serious with your children. It's time for y'all to get serious whatever it is that you trust in and believe in Jesus to bring to you. You need to stop playing. It's time to get seriously. Whatever it is, you need to stop playing and it's time to get serious. You need to get wise. You got to know right from wrong. And that's what discerning means. Right and wrong. Making the right decision. The right choice. That's what that means. Quit making the wrong choice all the time. Quit making the wrong decision all the time. If you know you got somebody good, why leave somebody good to go to a bad rotten apple? That means you ain't even wise at all, brothers and sisters. That means that you're making the wrong decision because don't think the grass is green on the other side. It might be green for a minute, but as soon as you turn your back or turn your head, you're going to see all that brown stuff and you're going to wish that you never did it. But some of y'all still doing it right now. That was it. The wise and the heart are called discerning. The wise and the heart are called discerning. The reason why I say they, the wise and hard called the sun because they know to make the right decision, the right move. They take life serious. They're not playing games. They are serious about Jesus. They're serious about their health. They're serious about their life. They're serious about their dreams. They're serious about their finance. They're serious about their marriage. They're serious about everything they're asking and believing in Jesus in. They are serious. They're not playing. They don't have time to play games. They don't have time to be going to no club. They ain't got time to be wanting to drink and smoke all the time. They ain't got time to be watching TV. They ain't got time to want to be gossiping all the time. They ain't got time for the games. They serious. They not playing games. Everything about them is serious. Seriously. Everything. There's no playing in them at all. And right now, some of y'all need to be just like that. Y'all need to be wise in the heart. So y'all can be called discerned so y'all can make the right decision. Long, 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 I'm talking to today. 
But if it's you today, my sister and brother, and you're tired of making a wrong decision, you wonder why things not going your way, you wonder why you ain't getting blessed, you wonder why you ain't receiving nothing, it's time for you to stop playing games. It's time for you to get serious with yourself. It's time for you to get seriously with Jesus. It's time for you to stop believing. It's time for you to stop trusting. It's time for y'all to play games. It's time for y'all to start making the right decision and the right moves in your life. And if this word and if this message and this video is meant for you today, I believe they could right now in the mighty name of Jesus that all my brothers and my sisters right now are going to start making the right decision. I believe right now y'all going to start playing and y'all going to start taking life seriously right now. I believe that and I declare that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I believe that it's done right now in Jesus' name. Amen. If you receive it right now, I want y'all to give him the thanks and the praise and the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray y'all praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name, amen.